Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and we actually have a new member bringing to the team. So we have a new backstory for the first time in a while. Uh, so we're going to get into that pretty much straight away. This one here is by Strange Wonder. It is Katrina Duran and I'm quite interested in this class for some interesting stuff. And also starting out as Observed, which is something I haven't seen before. So I'm kind of interested in that. Um, unfortunately, we do have Fast Side here as well which isn't great and i mean all three of these are pretty bad but we'll uh we'll mess around with this class hopefully this episode i'll see if i can work it in she is only a level three so i'm not quite sure but anyways let's get into the backstory here like, like i said this is katrina duran by strange wonder she was always a lady of science and advancement ever since her birth within the noble family as the third child she was not burdened with the plight of ruling as much as the boredom of growing without purpose Ready to be wed to another noble family for the sake of both families finding more strength and prestige within the turbulent world of the royal courts. And while her siblings relished in the lifestyle of the unendearing, uh, unending pleasures and delights, she turned to the books and formulas to, um, to sate her curiosities. An odd spark burned within her, slowly turning into a flame with each and every book she consumed with each test she did, with each piece of knowledge she had collected within a puzzle. A puzzle that nobody, uh, a puzzle that nobody, bar a few fortunate souls, could ever discover. One she learned of, finally. Years and years of unending research, the fruits of her labour had rendered her too valuable to the family to sell off, allowing her to dwell in an endless pursuit within the walls of her family estate. Enlightenment does not come easy, however. She lacks a piece, a single piece that evaded her all the same, no matter where she looked, no matter what she did. But a gentleman from far away had heard of her pursuits similar to his. A man of, un a man of endless ambition and atro um, atrocity had taken his time to exchange letters. She didn't realise it at first, but the man had grasped the piece a long time ago, and he was merely entertaining a possibility that someone will do the same. He was long gone by the time she found it, and so was her sanity. That piece, that single piece had managed to bring everything together more than she could ever hope for, and yet she couldn't comprehend her own knowledge, her writings filled with formulas and words that she could not describe or explain. That man, he knew, um, he, knew he could help, writings, journals, everything. She needed to make sure of all of it, and the loud heart beating that never left her dreams, and so she came to the hamlet. Very, very good backstory there. Again, that's by Strange Wonder. First backstory by Strange Wonder, actually. He's joined the writing team recently, and this is the first backstory he's got to write, because he kind of joined once most people have been written for. But this is a really, really good one here. Glad we got to t uh, got this class. Um, I did have a bit of a mention of people saying I should bring on the Seer and Chaplain at level 1, and while there is a possibility, because we do have this um, Vestal here, I, I don't... I don't particularly want to do that because I feel like these easier missions are really, these like lower level missions are a lot easier and a lot less risky. And I feel like if we bring on new people and start going to early dungeons again, even if it's only one or two to level them up, it's just not going to be as entertaining and high stakes as our current setup is. And so I kind of want to keep going on the trajectory on the path that we that we currently have. We will be stepping into the uh, courtyard very shortly. I would say probably next episode, maybe the one after that. We're very near to that. We're, uh, we've only got a few level fours left now. Um, we are really getting up there. So let's actually have a little look what we want to uh, what we want to do here. Um, where do we want to go? So we want to try and go on a, a, a long master's mission if we've got one. Uh, we have a medium here with the exterminator. We haven't actually got an exterminator quest yet. And we do have the Shriekling's Nest here as well. Uh, level 5. We are, we are about ready to go for that very shortly here. Um, so it looks like we've got a medium one here that we'll probably go for. This one seems like the best. Let's first get into some diary entries before we build up our team because we do have quite a lot today one i did actually miss out in the previous episode so i do apologize uh for that um this one is for trell and chasey by cell chasey is walking alone in a dark alley looking uncharacteristically dreary she puts her back to the grimy wall and sighs before slouching to the ground breathing heavily she pulls out a silver dagger and runs her fingers along the smooth carved wood the polished metal of the blade reflects the face of a broken woman 
lost in a cold world and a woman who lusts for the ability to be strong enough to be freed from those who want to hunt her. The dagger was the first, final, and only gift Ch uh, Chasey had to give. Um, only gift she had given to Chasey. Footsteps splash through the puddles in the alley, uh, alleyway's entry. Chasey leaps to her feet, the dagger gripped in a reverse grip in her left hand. The other hand pulsed with the crimson energy. Trail stands in the entrance, face covered in shadow. Chasey begins to lower her weapon, but is interrupted by a, a tearing feeling in her chest and waves of nausea. Her legs buckle and her vision fades. She is barely able to hear Trell's cry out of shock before passing out. Oof. That is very interesting. I'm very, very interested to find out what happens there. That is... That's... I, I like that a lot. I'm, I'm really looking forward to Cell's stories coming together because all of them are so well thought out. We actually have another one here uh, by TEA for the claimant, Smith and Elise. These artifacts, a bottle of embalming fluids and a ring belonging to the one of, to one of the great heroes are supposed to inspire confidence and resilience in the face of adversity. And yet, as we were assaulted in both mind and body, we don't feel anything, just a growing tightness in our hearts. I don't think we have what it takes to do this. The ring rejects us. The fluids have no effect. I do not understand. I'm supposed to be an expert in these things and I do not understand what's happening, except that we have somehow failed. And that was them just getting super unlucky with their um, with their stress check. Unfortunately, they did not do well at all at that stress check. But let's uh, build our team, get everyone ready, and we'll jump out in. So we have our team ready. We're going to bring Aruki here, our Salamander. Uh, she's going to be doing a lot of fire damage, uh, of course. Mainly using uh, Salamander's breath here, mixed with a flame gow. And we, if need be, we've got steam vent here for that accuracy debuff, which is really nice. And the pile bunker, just in case we really desperately need a sun. We're bringing out uh, Katrina Duran here. A little bit underleveled, but what I've done is... She has insanely high crit as base, so I've set her up with really, really high crit chance. Uh, 13 plus 10 here. Um, gets that extra accuracy and also that extra stress heal on a crit, so I think that's going to really help. This is her only base move, but it does have a plus 12 crit mod, so I think this is really going to be quite good on her. Um, so I think that's going to help. Then Alexander's coming out here because he does have that ability to buff blight and disease resist. I think that's really going to be really helpful. Um, also to cure bleed if need be as well. I think that's going to be really good and also cause some blight. And then we have uh, Isaac coming out as well. He's coming out with the uh, the head and the Nepathine. Uh, but we've also got the um, the ring here on a rookie as well as the Otherworldly Bell, just in case. Because uh, I feel like the Otherworldly Bell kind of needs to be out with every mission. It's that good. And bringing the hero ring here with the uh, Nepathine is going to be really good. Especially considering Katrina has two different uh, things that cause horror. So I think bringing out this is going to be a very good way to counteract that. Because we can get them stress checks and hopefully, hopefully get some virtues there. So let's jump on out. And see what we can get done here. We're going to bring out pretty much everything we can here, I think. Uh, I think we're pretty prepared here. Uh, and let's jump on out and uh, see what these guys can do. We do have another diary entry here for Victoria Duchess. Another one by TEA. We have a lot today, so I'm going through them um, a little bit earlier on than normal. Ah, once again, the craving for blood has graced me. Delivered to me by one of those blood-sucking monstrosities. Who, in their bold advance, have t overtaken all the land um, save the hamlet? And even as they draw clo and they even draw closer, she strikes a, um, a wet stone against her blood-soaked blade. Sparks fly and scatter across the stone masonry and the dark hallways. I think it's time to remind them, remind her, who exactly resides in this pitiful little town on the edge of the world of madness. There is a reason it hasn't fallen yet, and it isn't just me. She glances over at Red talking quietly with a disheart um while the disheartened pair of siblings and then to Benjamin a priest who has somehow merged the curse with the light flowing through his blood and weaponized them both the blood crusade has begun benjamin is its instigator and i have the vengeful and i the vengeful warrior who will head the every assault into that damnable ruin of the blood soaked extravagance and misled cruelty my home how sad wow that is really 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 good it's that that that's 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 really good i like that a lot 
And we have a few more coming up here, but I'll get into those as we as we the delve forward. And let's see how we go here. Of course, um, Katrina's starting out with a base level of stress because she's underleveled for this mission. But let's hope that's not a too big of a deal here. Let's hope that's not too big of a deal. Let's jump on in and really just hope for the best. Really just hope for the very best. Of course, we are going to see a lot of bloodsuckers with us here. Uh, that is just a guarantee at this point. Um, we need to get out there and, and fight against those pretty soon. Let's go for that. Already high on stress here. Um, let's lower all that accuracy base. Also, a crit. Nice. Plus five crit after getting a crit. That is what I like to see. Um... And here, let's just finish a kill. We don't really have any stress relief as such here, so we'd have to be careful about that. Um, these guys have... Their blight resist isn't too high. I'm going to go for the stun on this guy instead, though. I think that's a little more important. They're the guys that are going to be giving us the curse, so... Nice resist there, Isaac. Isaac, once more, is going to be taking some of this research home back into the hamlet and seeing if he can figure out a cure. It's been a long road and a lot of work, but he is getting there. He is getting there. Okay. Um, also, one good thing. Um, Alexander here does have self-stress relief on this, which is really, really nice. Give everyone that nice healing there. Also, he has insane disease resist because of not only the buff from that healing, but also his trinket here gives plus 40. So it's unlikely that he'll bring on the curse, if anything. Um, he, as a as a surgeon, he's very prepared and knowledgeable about these things. He knows, he knows what to expect, and he knows that he can't take this lightly. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, he realizes that he cannot take this lightly. He has to really pay attention here. Nice. We keep trying to gather the blood on Isaac. Isaac's not having any of it. Right, let's have a little look, see what we can do here. Uh, we could keep buffing up the party. I think we actually should keep buffing up the party's disease resist. This should actually be a pretty good counter to um, to the curse. I, I, I genuinely think we won't end up taking on too much of the curse because of this. Pretty much guaranteed kill on this guy. Nice. Destroy them all. And let's do that. Nice blight there. That's a lot of blight, too. That's a lot of blight. And there's that crit. Huge stress relief there. And the buff is an extra bit of crit. Very nice to see. Philemon is going to be someone that we definitely want to be focused on crits with. I really like the idea of using the uh, Singing Blade to help these lower levels do more damage in one, but keep their stress in check for two, which is just a really nice way to deal with it all. We're exploring 90% of rooms here, so we don't have to go to that one to the side there. More of these infested hives thriving throughout the hamlet here. Well, the hamlet, throughout the estate, should I say, throughout the uh, caves and curves and everywhere. It's, it's just, it's absolutely taking over. I'm sure people are, uh, are scared. Ooh. This is a bad bit of combat here, and you may also notice, ow, you may also notice that we are observed, so we got one of these guys. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of extra damage. Try and take out this guy as quickly as we can. Could we stun him? His blight resist is really low, though. I think we, I think we just go for the blight. We need, we need to kill this guy as quickly as possible. He does some terrible, terrible stress. Coming into the curve, we should have known that. Going to lower all that accuracy again. I think that's a really valuable thing. Unfortunately, didn't hit it on the person we needed to, but there you go. Get everyone healed up again. Oh, this guy. He's, he's about to lay some, lay some horror on us. He's about to lay some horror. Get everything we can on this guy. Okay, he's dead to the blight on his turn. Awesome. That's exactly what we need. We do not want that amount of stress this early on. That's just too much. Um, let's take out this thing. I don't actually know how deadly this thing is. So I really want to get rid of it as soon as possible. This will... Ah, oh, like this will kill it if it crits, but unfortunately, we're getting pretty unlucky with the crits considering how high our crit chance is, and that's a... It's a big bit of damage. That's a big bit of damage. 
I could probably stun this guy. Let's give it that go. Nice. We did stun him good. Great that thing's dead. That Let's let Alexander heal himself up, shall we? There's that crit. Executed. Lovely. Okay, we are going to have to heal ourselves up here. Wait, can we... Oh, we can, we can only heal ourselves through group heal, which is a bit annoying, but keeps our stress down at least. We're going to have to just be a bit mindful of that, I think. Nice one, a rookie. Get that going. Oh. Oh, eight over five on a crit. Love to see it. Howl is going to give us some air. Uh, some of that lovely horror. Festering fear consumes the mind. And there you go. This guy's done. This guy's done. We want to be using breakdown a little more probably as well. Monsters it does do damage, so it can still crit. Merit, unless yeah, I, I think I want to be doing that a little more. Let's uh, use a little food here to heal up Alexander. I think he needs it. Uh, we can leave that for now. Let's carry on forward. It's tough in the in the uh, in the curve. We've we've had we've had some run-ins in the past, some horrible horrible run-ins here, some of our most epic adventures, but definitely most uh, troubling have been in this place. Mind that such so not really too fond of this place to be honest, but sometimes needs must. We have to head out into uh, into the unknown, into the into the horrors. That lion wait. Nice bit of stress relief here. Good to the see. Light, the promise of safety. Katrina's doing a good job so far. She's she's handling her own. What we like to see. Another trap has been found here as well, so Katrina can get even more stress relief here. That's always nice to see. I mean, there's a, there's a chance she fails it, but 100 percent I don't actually know if you can fail at 100%, although certain things don't work like that in this game. There's another one. Katrina's chilling. Katrina is chilling. I mean, Isaac over here is kind of shitting himself, um, but that's okay. That's okay. If only treasure could staunch the flow of right. As soon as anyone gets to like 70 something stress, oh, we got one of these guys and another one of these. As soon as any anyone gets to like 70 stress, we start switching trinkets. We start doing trinket swap. So let's get all their accuracy down to start. That's very, very important. Uh, then you, yeah, let's stack up the blight on you. Let's just get that going early. Oh, are you kidding me? Damn it. Imposter syndrome. Why? That is terrible. Okay, this thing's got very low accuracy now. It is going to guard these guys. Ooh. Gorgon's Gear Select Hero. Very interesting. The very strange form of stunning that. That was kind of cool. Try and take this thing out. Stress wave incoming. Nice dodge. That accuracy down is helping us out a bunch right now. We are going to take some blight for this. Oh, we might actually have resisted it. Yeah, we did. Nice. Um, let's keep on going with that. 14 over 5 is a lot. Please miss. Yes. Okay, we've got to select a hero again. Let's select Isaac. I really like that. That's very cool. Isaac misses his turn, but that's okay. Ooh, that's not good. Okay. Stop you from doing stuff. We're in a bit of a bad way right now. This is a hard bit of combat. But yeah, I, need, I needed to get another one of these off. Lower everyone's accuracy again. That's why I didn't want to freeze a rookie again. That low accuracy should mean that we're not getting hit by this thing at all. And now now we can now we can do it on a rookie. Dress wave incoming. Stress is luckily manageable right now. He's pushing his way to the front, unfortunately. That's not too big of a problem right now. Um, 
It does stop him from healing, though, so let's let's move him back just in case we need to heal. Let's get another one of them out there. There you go. You're dead. Let's get that on you. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Let's get that on you. Another crit there. Wow, you're dead. And you're dead as well. That's beautiful. It's exactly what we needed right now. And a kill with a rookie is a heal for everyone, too. So that's exactly what we want to see. Heal everyone up to finish the fight. And we actually came away from that with less stress. Which is really nice. Three trinkets there. Three trinkets. I, I don't know. Like, do we want this? this that, that's pretty good. I want to keep my Loudenum. Maybe I'll throw away the Holy Water, because that's actually pretty good. I like the idea of that a lot. Um, you can take this. There you go. Extra damage and speed. I like that. Getting those debuffs going. Let's keep pushing forward into the unknown. This is a, a pretty ragtag group, to be honest. Um, they, they don't all have, have great synergies with one another. Alexander is well versed in the curve, though. And it's actually kind of funny that he has the silver syringe and he's literally holding a silver syringe. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that, but I, I quite I quite like that. He is proudly holding it. Maybe the reason we found this is because Alexander found that and uh, or like created that and shared it among the group and lets, their, lets other people borrow it when he's not using it. He concocted some healing remedy that the, uh, the Hamlet did not know possible before. But stress levels are fine at the moment. This could definitely challenge that. Oh, I had to say that then, didn't I? Right. This is going to de-stealth, so let's just do that. Get you taken care of. This is definitely a one where we want to lower accuracy. Okay, taking quite a lot now. Quite a lot now. We'll take off that horror. There you go. Um, we're just going to blight up these two. The double crit. These crits are insane. I'm loving it. Another Seaward Slash here. That's that's pretty bad. Let's get that going. The rest of the party doesn't need a heal. Unfortunately, I did not know this could not heal you in front there. So that, that's a bit of a bummer. Healing's going to be a little hard here, I guess. Never hidden. A little harder than I thought. Ooh, they they can see something in Katrina. They know to focus on her. Nice. Good. We didn't take the HP damage there, so that's good. Um, it's gonna kill. I, I'm gonna go for you. Really, a dodge. It's very unfortunate. And another dodge. This guy has very high dodge, unfortunately. The party heal there. This is bad. The seaward slashes are going to hurt. This is why we lowered the accuracy, though. In the hopes that this doesn't become too big of a problem. There's that kill. Very nice. Oh, we need those dodges. We need those dodges. Another crit, Isaac. You're mental. Oh, please. We need dodges. We really need them. Yeah, I never knew that this couldn't... Couldn't heal people in the front position. It's unfortunate. Well, that's strange. So it can never heal anyone in the front position. That's bizarre. We're gonna have to go for this. It's unfortunate, but it's the way we gotta play. These two have lowered accuracy now, though, so hopefully that helps us out. Kill you. Isaac, what drugs have you taken today, boy? That's another crit. Wow. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. 
Um, I'm going to throw away just these jades for the Jude tapestry. I really want that. And I don't think we throw away anything else, even though it is money. You definitely need some healing. Let's keep on going. Can you do much from position one? No. Unfortunately, you can't use this from position one, so we don't really want to do that. I just want a rookie to be able to be healed from a further position, but it's not working for us right now. Another one of these... They're scattered everywhere, these hives. At this the point, the group fun. just knows to expect it. They, they come out here knowing that this was going to be an issue. They just knew. One moment. I saw my alarm was about to go off and preemptively paused. Right, uh... Let's go, sir. How do you want to do this? So, on you we can get 10 to 18. Or we can lower your speed. Crits received. I think we do that. Go for the little bit of damage and the crits received and dodge and everything. Then we lower everyone's accuracy. And then we get you to another crit, Isaac. What the hell? 5%. What? <laughs> what? In what world is that 5%? In what world? I get that she is adding the chance to crit, so it's technically 15, but even still. Ow. That's not too bad, though. We're okay. Nice. And that's where the lowered accuracy comes into play once again. Really helping us out here. And a crit there as well to lower our stress. You're almost dead. You are literally one damage away from death. And you've managed to get out of stress wave before you go. A parting gift, so to say. Um, let's do that. Get rid of one stress dealer. And then get rid of another. Another crit. Awesome. Still at 47 stress on Isaac here. Not to worry. Ow. These wrens, they're hurting, but at least we aren't bleeding. At least we aren't bleeding. And we've got that party heal that really helps out as well. Just buffs our blight and, stress and disease resist so high up there as well. Right, you're going to receive some more crits. And so it was told. And improvement. Right, I just want to blight the hell out of this guy early. Another big hit coming in there. Katrina really doesn't want to be getting hit right now. We ha we do have these that we haven't used yet. I'm just I'm really apprehensive to use those because I don't want to deal stress to our team. I feel like that's not a great idea unless we need it. Like as in like unless we need a way to get stress or we really need the guards. Nice hit. Just some crazy damage for a lower level. Yeah, you're dead. 25 over 5. 125 damage total. Okay, now we need some heals. Nice crit as well. Beautiful. Exactly who we need it on. This guy's getting another turn. Oh no. He might not. We might outspeed him here. Indeed we will. Boom. Cursed. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious oh, killer. Oh, believe me. I know that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Believe me, I know. Right, let's grab that. Oh, you're taking it, are you? Hacks what you got that's doing that? Loot. Ah, I'm manic for money. Of course you are. Of course you are. Another one of these guys. We got the bloater dude. Let's just try and take him out immediately. These guys are always dangerous. Yeah, he's dead. Nice. Didn't go for the accuracy this time. Probably should have done. But we got the dodge anyways. You have just guarded the worst person to guard. A, a person that is already guaranteed dead. That was not a smart idea. Not a smart idea at all. 
passing myself forward. Um, keep on blighting you. You can be a problem, sir. I'd rather get you down early. Here comes the bleeds. Ooh, and a crit too. Hmm. That hurt. That did hurt. But that hurt even more. The revenge strike. Quickly lower their, um... I'll say lower their axe here. I used the wrong move. Either way. Oh, no. Even with the disease resist. The birthplace of dread. We get tinnitus. Let's take a look at what that does to us. Ah! Slightly less stress healing received. Not the greatest, but not the worst. You put the wrong person to stealth on as well. Um... Victories mount. So too will resist. Grab that. Open that up. You manic for money, so here's some more. Um Right, let's get over get get over to here, then we'll uh, we'll camp up. I didn't actually check for camping skills this time around. I probably should have done that right. How are you still bleeding? There you go. Keep on pushing forward. Let's see what we have here. We definitely don't need all these shovels. We can open this. Oh, we got one back anyways. Nice. <laughs> it's always nice when that happens. Okay, let's set up camp, people. Like I said, we have some more dire injuries to get into a first. One here, coming from Strange Wonder for Red. Horrors. Well, that could have gone better, I admit. Even if none of us got too hurt, we seem to have encountered a little bit too much of those bugs. I didn't let it bother me too much. I mostly hang behind the group, allowing them to deal with the possibility of catching the curse. I was wise to do so, as one of them did just that. The siblings seem completely out of shape. I'll need to drag them into Cathedral so, so they'll calm down. Perhaps I should try harder next time. Unfortunately, while Red did well in that group, that group did not do too well at all. And then we have another one here of Strange Wonders, ones from The Unknown, which is kind of the commentary on what happens in previous episodes. I've been really liking these. Ah, how pitiful it seems. The ones who had plentiful chance to rise above the stresses of the wild had gone down in the deep pit of anxiety. The noble woman had gotten the taste of what has plagued her old house, seeking revenge upon her old inadequacies. It's been over two years since the start of the Grand Crusade, the hope of wiping out the scourge of the land still strong within the hearts of many. Perhaps the arrival of the woman, maddened by her own forbidden knowledge, may quicken the pace of the cleansing. Very, very nice. Okay. Let's eat up and see what we have for um, for our camping skills. That one's already really good there. I'll definitely look into that. We've got... Um, Self-reduced stress. Yeah, that's not great. Looks like we have no prevent nighttime ambush here, which is slightly annoying. Um, yeah, it looks like we don't have that at all, which is a real shame. So we might we might have to face a little bit of a nighttime ambush here, which could be troublesome. Um, hmm. Okay, so I think we start off with this. We go next with. Let's go with this. Then we de-stress and de-stress. Then we got. What, I think I should do another one here. Um, I, I never understand why there's even healing ones. The food heals you all the way to full almost every time. I suppose it's in a like in a pinch. You might need it. Okay. There you go. We might get a nighttime ambush here. Let's hope not. Terror Unfortunately, we did get one. Let's see how it, we get mixed up here. Pretty badly. We got mixed up pretty badly. This could end up leading to more stress than we came into this with by quite the number. Oh, my God. It did pull us forward, though. That's good. Don't even know why I even tried to attack that guy. That was dumb. Um, let's get you. Pull you out of stealth. 
This is going to be tough. Especially... Oh, I didn't even realise. Alexander's all the way up the front. He can't do anything from there. He's going to have to keep moving back. This could be a very tough little fight here. A very tough little fight indeed. I am prepared though. I am prepared. Let's get everyone repositioned. There you go. Now we can start healing. That that essentially saves us, I think. As long as he doesn't get crit. Oh! <laughs> For fuck's sake! He got crit! And that, not only that, that pulled him forward. Look at the stress we've just taken on here. Camping was not worth it. In the slightest. You need, you've got to go, dude. You've got to go. Disease resist should save us here. Let's hope. Sorry, but we've got to move you back again. We need the heals. Don't crit. Oh my god. Ah, I pulled him back. I'm pretty sure he can't use that from back either. Oh, he can. Okay, thank god. You've got to go, dude. You've got to go. Wow, this is bad. Oh my god, the darkness is just making them crit so much. It does. The end does approach. You're damn well right about that. Holy hell. This is scary. This is very scary. Okay, you're dead. Oh my god. Leave her alone. She's taken enough of a beating. Okay, double crit there and a kill. Really was hoping for that kill, so I'm glad we got it. We are, we are very low on food as well. I did not notice that. There's not even like we can use food to get these guys back up to hell. That was not a worthwhile camp. Not worthwhile at all. The way is lit. The path is clear. That's the way it goes sometimes, the though. That's the way it goes. It. Oh my god. Stressful. Stressful stuff. Nice to Sam there. Let's hope we can reel back from this. Let's hope we can reel back. Another misfortune. Because this is uh this has definitely put us in a a sour position. But there you go. That is actually us finished. I didn't realize. Okay, that was that was lucky. We needed that. I was expecting us to have to go to another room for some reason. Let's return to the Hamlet. Unfortunately, everyone is a little more stressed out than I'd like at the end of that. Despite its morbid aspect, oh my god, that that was twisted definitely tough. Seems almost everyone up to level five. Unfortunately, Katrina just one XP away from level four. Hair and Red can go out on an adventure together soon, though. Don't worry about that. Medical assistant. Indeed you are. Indeed you are, Alexander. <laughs> nice, nice that you recognize that. Oh, right. Petrus Tonic cures one disease for every feelings. hero on the roster, but it costs 30, though. How many, how many diseases do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13, 13 out of 75. It's not worth the, it's not worth the shards. It's not worth the shards, people. Right, first of all, let's unequip our trinkets, let's reorganize and get these guys in some stress healing. I think they need it. I think they need it. Um, Katrina, I know you've only just got here. Uh, you got tinnitus here. I'm going to put you in for stress healing first, I think. Uh, so let's put you in for some stress healing here. You can go straight in and pray. Um, Isaac, you can go in and pray as well. Hmm. Let's get rid of Eager to Fight on Alexander there. I know it's expensive, but that's a really, really bad one to have. So I just want rid of it. I just want it gone. And then Aruki, you can uh, get rid of the Red Plague here. Okay, not too bad. Let's check out what trinkets we've got available. Um, Duchess only, plus 30 virtue chance. That's pretty insane. 
pretty insane. Check over on these. That's very good. Straight up prop and um, and stress relief. I, I like the idea of that. Um, a well-tuned loot. Oh, there's some good stuff here. There's some very good stuff here. My god. I don't know what... I don't know if we should get any of that. I really, I'm really tempted to get this. Yeah, let's just get it. Let's just get it. It's too good not to. Let's just take it. Um, And then we do have a new class coming in. Uh, I said I wasn't going to be taking on many level 3s, but I'm a little more okay with it seeing how they performed there. Um, and we'll do a power level session very soon, I think. Uh, so let's bring on the exterminator here. Very excited to have him extreme, aboard. But necessary measure. Indeed, extreme but necessary measure. Um, and let's have a little look. We've got a few more diary entries to go, I believe. Uh, oh, actually, no, that, that was... that was. Oh, no, we got one more here for Katrina Duran. Uh, the air smells of death. The mansion swirls, obscured by the number and the letters I do not understand. I have arrived at where the gentleman lived. The stagecoach was strange. Comfortable, yet not. Shadows sit comfortably within it. I couldn't quite understand what they were saying at the time. Uh, saying this time. Nor that I ever understood them before. Ah, right. The city. Smells of death. I saw a gunshot somewhere when I entered, and the howling of a monster collecting faces. Faces? Why faces? Strange. I should draw them when I next see them. The statue reminds me of something. Someone. Birth. I'm gonna go with birth. It showed me the mansion. Strange. Why does it change size every time I look at it? Stop. Stop. Don't look. I should grab myself a drink. Don't look. Very interesting. Pron Katrina's arrival. She seems both confused and intrigued by the uh, by the estate itself. I'm very interested to read a little more about that. That was a very interesting one there. Uh, I do believe we have one thing left, so I just want to quickly go and have a little look. See, um, I think that's it. Actually, uh, either way, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.